Hello everybody, it is Project Queen again and in this project video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the awesome Montoya's Blade Wand in Prodigy. Now, before we begin this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and smash the notification bell so you will not miss out on any of my awesome Prodigy videos and don't and don't break your device or your computer okay guys i also have good news um i made it i made it to get my mythical plant back by just not i don't you don't have to reset your whole entire house that has like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six um items and also i also also like took away that um piece of wardrobe furniture there this um piece of furniture like this one over there and i put the mythical plant there um in exchange it looks so good right okay guys so now let's go ahead and get to the tutorial so guys the first thing you're going to be needing to do is you're going to be needing to click on the world map down here it looks kind of muddy but it's actually the, the continents like if you look at a normal map but the continents here are yandere oasis shibachio mountains skywatch epic subspace the academy bonfire spire shipwreck shore the dark tower limpley town tower town and um firefly forest in our house but we're going to be needing to head to shipwreck shore today you're going to click there and you're going to click play and not the battle titan button if you're watching this at the time where the um water titan there okay guys so i'm gonna be needing to warn you that you're gonna be needing to complete at least like 20 or 15 or something quests like a lot of quests that you're able to go and go all the way to um a place underwater and into the sand like so far so guys like if you're new to prodigy and you're like playing in shipwreck shore um i recommend you first you pause this video right here and complete all not all but like um a lot of the quests that eve gives you and then when you can come and then come back when you like um, i'm like i have unlocked most of shipwreck shore okay guys so now since we're all on the same path what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet be needing to go towards the right where there's like this seashell thing over here purple seashell and so what we're gonna needing be what what we're gonna be needing to do is we're gonna be needing to go up over here near this party cannon looking thing. Yeah, well, I wonder if I could drag the party cannon here and blast it in the quester's face so he'll get scared and run away because there's confetti in his nose. Hehe, <laughs> that'd be very funny. So guys, but in order to get to this cannon, we will be needing to defeat this Aquasta over here. So guys, let's go ahead and defeat this Aquasta together. It's a water element pet, which like would be very helpful if I had a fire element pet in front. But l luckily for us guys today, we could use Volcadon. That would be a good amount of damage. And then let's solve this question. Seven. Correct the mundo. Okay, guys. So now let's go ahead and use volcano. We did three thousand six hundred and thirteen damage. I was expecting more damage because um um. Oh wait, wait a minute. Water is powerful against fire, not fire powerful against water. <laughs> what was I thinking, silly me? So let's go ahead and answer this question. The questions all come very, very like very easy at first, but then um. Like, nothing is easy and nothing is hard. It's it, it just that some questions require you to put more mind effort into there, which I don't mind. I love doing some kind of these questions. And by the way, Survey asked um, a question to me, like, um, like, do you like the math in Prodigy? And I said, um, somewhat true or, like, very true. Let's open our chest. Ooh, we got some Yars. A Yars is a very weird name for the shipwreck shore currency. Okay, guys. So now let's go ahead and head up this path. But we're not going to be needing this party cannon over here. Ooh, th this kind of looks like a secret trap door. I wonder if we can open it and go down. Nah, we can't. And this like, there's like a bottle of, um, s um I think, space um, sea slug stew in that um bottle there and they're gonna play it playing to like ship it all the way to shiver two mountains in exchange for some um crispy creamy ice cream <laughs> that would be really weird if we like exchange this for some crispy creamy ice cream that would be good because this is like a um, weird space sea slug stew with octopuses on top <laughs> really weird so now let's go ahead and head up 
Okay guys, so now as we can see, we have this beach scenery, so let's go ahead and just look around. But we're not going to be needing to, because what you're going to be needing to do, is you're going to be needing to go to this party cannon, which sadly, we cannot drag over and blast into one of these monsters' faces. But we're not going to be needing to do that, because we don't battle into any of these monsters. You just go up towards the left path, and you can skip totally skip this equestrian by just going straight up. And you can reach this um, docking area place. So guys, in order to skip both of these pets, but you're going to be needing to battle this truckle because you have to go to the whirlpool. So what you're going to be needing to do is you're going to be needing to go over to this like um, crowbar um, like nest over here or this tiny line. Whichever one makes you feel more confident. I, I like to go to the, the nest of the ship. So once you're there, you go straight towards the right right there or a little bit up curving up and then we can just go on to this um pan pricked path which like if one of the wizards here or like brian fruit shadow or hunter dragon steel if either one of these wizards just cut this small rope that was connecting them uh, okay yeah there it is this small rope that's holding them up we would all collapse eek and, and then i would have to take take the con confetti cannon all the way from over there and dump it on her head or take this space slug steel um, the space slug steel <laughs> this space slug sea stew <laughs> i really have trouble saying that this space slug sea stew onto her head oh she's gone so i can't do that anyway so let's go ahead and battle this truckle also i was planning to keep the sprite on my team as you saw from my last videos that they're so strong they're so small and overlooked and they're very lonely but i'm like i'm i'm, I'm still like one of these tall wizards i'm, st I'm not gonna ignore my poor little pet that i rescued um, I made a video on how to get the sprite, so you can check it out in this eye icon over here, or in the description. Okay, so now let's go ahead and battle this truckle and place that awesome sprite on our team. Okay guys, I just, this, I just placed this sprite on my team, so now let's go ahead and battle this truckle. And so it's not paired up with an ivory truckle, which I wasn't expecting anyway, because um, ivory trip traps are mostly paired up with normal trip traps. But um, I made a video on how to get both ivory trip trap and both... Um, ivory truckle so let's so check that video out um after this one so let's go ahead and start off by using supernova because you know what there's two of these truckles so we can use supernova first and then we can use an epic attack which i haven't used for a really long time let's go ahead and solve this question which i just finished while i was talking to you and lucky for us we got this bad so we won't have to like count on the number line which fraction to do which is pretty easy but still it takes a little bit of time which i'm not picky about Okay, so let's use Supernova. So I placed that um, lonely looking sprite on my team. Hopefully he will start to feel better because I'm giving him a little bit of company. And the Terrigan's trying to like encourage him um, and give him a little bit more power. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our epic attack. And I'll use Hot Snow because I believe like um, um, Totality from Luma and the epic attack... Um, Hot Snow from Mag Mischief are the most powerful attacks, but that's just me because it depends on which pet you're battling against. Okay, so let's use um, our Hot Snow and we killed both Truckles. Woohoo, and they're both gonna gallop away. So let's go ahead and chop it up and eat deer hide meat. And actually, I don't eat meat. It's kind of cool, like if you imagine you were the animal and like I was slaughtering you, yeeks, that would be really bloody and you feel really squeamish. I would not like to watch a cow get slaughtered and then turn into beef. Yee. That's just me. Some people actually, um, so some people think it's like winning the lottery, eating chicken. I would, I, I would agree if I were dumb because chicken is, um, chicken, chicken, I agree, would be pretty tasty if you were, um, if you were like... Not a veg a non-vegetarian, I guess you could put it as. Okay, oh, why do I keep going down? Okay, guys, looks like we're going to have to battle a Funkium. And then I can tell you the next step of what we're going to have to do. Because I just went into the Whirlpool over here. And then once we're in the Whirlpool, there's going to be a monster in front of the, the small sand sandstorm hurricane. But we'll talk about that later. So first, let's go ahead and battle this Funk Eel. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with Fog Star Smash. Let me go ahead and solve this question. You have to place in, um, 95 over 100 on the number line. There. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So that, so that, 
Spunkyo kind of looks like it's like at, um, as snug as a bug in a rug, and then all of a sudden it just lifts its tail and like shoots a bunch of water out of it. That's why I've wondered why it's so fluffy all the time. It's it's still so fluffy all the time. You know why? It's because it's filled with water, and I don't mean like the um like like the actual water that comes out of your body. Like I mean like the um filled with like aquatic water, clean water, not the dirty kind. If you get what I mean. What? Oh yeah, because um fire is weak against um water. I keep forgetting that. I keep on thinking fire is powerful against water, but water is powerful against fire. So boo hoo hoo on me. Boo hoo hoo on me. Let's go ahead and kill this funky with a falling star smash because we have no other choice and if we use volcano we probably won't be able to save it for an all-out attack for the other monsters we have to battle okay guys we're just killing the funky eel now so we did 4362 damage and and that funky eel just um like moves its water filled tail it must be really hard because it's carrying like probably more than a gallon of water in there because it has to fight every single wizard so it's probably carrying like thousands and thousands of gallons of water in there but uh, some but some kind of academy wizard magic must have helped and like adapted this um the, the funk yield to make it so light but carry a bunch of water in its tail okay guys now what we have to do is um oh cool we have a jelly gym over here Oh, look what Jelly Jim says. Well, I'll be off on another adventure soon. If you see me, could you stop and say hello? That'd be splendid. Sure, I'd love to say hello. So he's holding like um a gold a gold pouch on his back, a gold um a barrel full of gold on his back, and yes, he has like a cherry on with a bunch of gold and a spoon. And he's not really made out of jelly. He's just a jellyfish inside um a head, which looks really creepy if you ask me. Okay, guys. So now there's two options. If you guys have not, if you guys have not reached the quests where, um, where, where like this is this is like not filled with black ink. Like if your screen looks like it's filled with black ink or black clouds over this um sand tunnel tunnel over here, don't fret because the the way we're going, you don't have to battle any monsters and you can get there pretty fast. So guys, for for the people who have already um who already know how to like how do you have this uncovered if you go in there you're gonna reach this place but guys you'll really it's the same exact place if you follow this instructions do you go up and then you're supposed to like dance along with the coral like not really dance literally literally but like go along with the coral you can totally skip that funky or whatever monster is there for you there and then when you get up here you want to go in and go hide into this hairy coral and then go to the orange one and then go to this purple tree with the blue orbs on top and then go to this um weird um abacus thingy um kitty toy a thing over here although i think it's much for i think it's a hole that you can just open and close although i would like to venture in there one day but the person would not be happy if i broke into their house and broke their door down so let's go over here and as you can guys and as you guys can see we've got to the same exact place that we were before so guys be very careful as you're going towards this top mimic over here you want to be careful to go in, into this shaggy coral first and then get to the mimic because you might attract this one's attention and then you're, you're gonna have to poke the spiny thing into their um tiny eyeballs inside to make them go away or you might have to battle them so guys, let's go ahead and battle this Mimic. I'm going to go ahead and battle it, and I'll be right back from the battle. Okay guys, I'm back over here. I've just finished battling that really annoying Mimic, which had another Mimic paired up with it. So let's go down these stairs over here, as we can see. And we have some more, if you look over there, there's some more ba barrels of um, space, sea, slugs, slime, stew. Ay, ew, it's gross, but um, a, lo a lot of um, characters here like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I guess Andrea has her own tastes. Eek. So we have a bunch of um, confetti cannons here. So this one shoots regular confetti. So this one shoots coral, and this one shoots and th this one shoots seashells. That's cool. So let's go up, and um, we we, we want to go up here now. And guys, uh, this is pretty cool though. We're not supposed to go inside here to get the Montoya's blade, but this is a pretty good hiding spot if you're playing hide and seek with your friends. I'd say, and then um, there's a chest over here, but that's not the chest where you can get the Montoya's blade from. If you remember, you can open that chest. Pretty cool. And then once you're over here, what you want to do is you want to go up this pan pricked path. And if this like um, <clears throat> and if this bridge is not very sturdy, you're gonna collapse straight into the ocean and you're gonna fall. Yeah, Luma's Luma's a fire element pet, so she's gonna like burn out because 
um, water, the water is going to like um, ruin all her flames and her wings and her flame on her tail. She's going to be destroyed. No, Luma. So what we want to do is we want to go up this path over here. Ignore this trap door or else you might fall in. Yeeks. So you, so guys, you do not want to step on these paths because you never know when this path might cave in and you might fall th right through it into the ocean. So we're going to carefully avoid that. Go through this bridge really, really, really fast. We want to trip through. Ooh, a crow's nest. You can't go in it though. And there's a wheel over here too. And whew, there's wait, there, there's there's another confetti can in there. Cool, but don't get too close. You might fall down this pan pricked path over there. So let's go up these stairs over here. So guys, we're gonna reach this place. So we have just gotten out of the water over there, as you saw, and we're gonna go back into the water. I know what how what crazy is that? Like it kind of looks like if you if you put on a cloud over here, it kind of look, looks like you're like floating on the water in a cloud. But I don't really like to put the cloud; it takes up too much space. Let's go into the whirlpool now, and we're back in our breathing bubble. So guys, what we now need to do is we only need to battle one monster, this Gennady over here. And then what we want to do is we want to head down. So let's go ahead and click on the Gennady so we can battle it. Let's do this together because Gennadys are kind of fun to battle. They, they like spin around. But we have three Gennadys in a row. So let's go ahead and start off with a Supernova. Let me just go ahead and solve this question. Hey guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and solve this question. So I'm done solving it now, and um, I just I was just checking what is powerful against the Gennady. So it look, it turns out that um this pet this pet is weak against storm and flea element spells. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and use a big hex attack after this. Ooh, look at that! Just how it spins around and around, and it just glances after me after a few minutes. <laughs> Weird. So let's go ahead and use it. Storm's Wrath. See how much damage it does. Let's go ahead and solve this question. They're now pretty easy because um, it just all I have to do is just like put like the equal to sign, less than or greater than, and it's pretty easy. So let's um, so let so Big Hex is gonna put his mechanical fingers out and he uses his spell and uh, let that all three Gennadys are dead in just two shots. Watch how they all just swim away. Swim, 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 little fishies, swim, little fishies. Yeah, that's just weird. I, Gennady is not a shark. Did you know that? I actually, like, in one of my videos on, I think, doing battles with Gennady or one of those videos, um, or, like, how to obtain Gennady, I, I, I read the description out loud, and it says that they'll, um, these, are, these are very different from, um, that, like, these Gennadys are very different from sharks because they can breathe on land. Okay, so we got some gold coins, yars, a morph marble mistyle, copper coin, and shell armor boots. Let's not wear those because they're not pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to this um pearl tree over here so we can skip that neek, which Abby Strong Strider is standing on top of right now. And this, um, wait, how did Abby Strong Strider get a cloud? Whoops, whoop, no, 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 no. How, how did Abby Strong Strider get a cloud if she's not a member? Okay, guys, looks like we got ourselves into a stick situation. Let me just go ahead and get out of this situation, and then we can continue our journey on how to get the Montoya's Blade. Hey guys, I just caught myself out of this sticky situation by refreshing the page and battling that Gennady again. So let's go ahead and go down now. So guys, so this is the place where you can get the Montoya's Blade. So here's a chest that you can open to get the Montoya's Blade. So guys, I've already opened this chest. So you're going to need to battle both these monsters and get to the chest. I, what, I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and read the description out loud for this blade. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my... um. Um, inventory over here and put it on so let's go ahead and find it yeeks looks like I'm gonna have to do it the hard way I think just go ahead and open it really quickly so you guys don't have to watch me um scream and frustrated at this in, in at this prodigy wand thing you have so many wands I don't even know how many I collected eek sticky situation or rather wet situation since I'm underwater haha <laughs> get it hee <laughs> hee Okay, hey guys, I found the Montoya's blade. So here's how I look wearing it. So I have like this, um, the blade of the handle is kind of like a snake shaped thingy. And it has like this golden brown scratchy pattern on the handle. And then it's like this long steel rod. It should have made, I think it, it's more like a, um, like a knife or something or like a sword. So I think it should call, uh, I think it should be called Montoya's sword instead of Montoya's blade. But I, I, I like that one too. So let's look at the description. 
It was once said that this blade was made for an evil man who had more than five fingers. And as you guys know, um, like what's the normal human being has five fingers. That's okay if like um and some some people uh, have like, a very rare feature of having like more or less than five, which is pretty cool. I have to, I have to admit. So let's go ahead and look at the spells. So the spell is splash down, and, it, and the range is. You might be wondering what is what is range if you're new to Prodigy, and the range, um, the range is like you know there's three players on everybody's team. So if 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 one of the players are um are orange and then the rest are black, that means that only one of the players will be will be affected by the spell that it has. So as you can see, all three of the people are orange. So this splashdown spell is gonna affect all three players on the team we're battling against. And so let's go ahead and um, look at the power bonus. So it's a power bonus of 15, not bad because the power bonus of 20 is like the most and I really like that one. So let's go ahead and wear this wand. I'm wearing it, so let's go ahead and go back to our um, place and there's actually a glitch where if you click on the chest so many times you can actually get two Montoya's blades. I, I did that glitch and it actually worked for me. So this is the same place we, where I made a video on how to get this awesome pet. It's this jellyfish looking thing and it's not really a jellyfish it's like a more than more like a squid and you guys are guessing it's Squibble. Check that video out on how to get it. Well, okay guys, as we, as we can see, we have just learned how to get the awesome item called a Montoya's Blade. Let's go back to our house now as we've been quite through an adventure. Let's lie down on your bed and sniff this awesome mythical plant that I put by my bed so I can easily just like climb over and just go to it. Alright guys, so that was how to get the awesome Montoya's Blade Wand in Prodigy. Once again, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. Hit the notification bell so you will not miss out on any of my awesome Prodigy videos. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Keep your eye out for the Earth, I mean for the Ice Tower coming up and other new updates. I'm so excited to see you guys in the next Prodigy video. Bye, enjoy the Starlight themed festival coming up pretty soon.